welcome to what's new to you. Today, we are gonna do an unboxing and a review for the iPhone XS Max and compare it to my old iPhone 6S Plus. Here's what happened. I ordered my phone. I was ready to order on September 14th at midnight 01 and I placed my order. I was very excited. They kept telling me that the, the website, the Apple website, was um, updating and finally I was able to place my order that night. Unfortunately, um, on Sunday, two days later, I received an email telling me that my order was canceled and it was not processed. I was very sad because I was expecting to pick up my phone from Apple on September 21st. And so what I ended up doing is I just went ahead on the website again, I placed my order again for a second time, and it didn't got it did not give me the option to pick it up at the store, so I ended up just receiving it in the mail. I just got it yesterday, and I am taking the liberty right now to go ahead and open the box and show you what comes inside, and I'm very excited. This is amazing. I cannot believe that this phone, I just got it, I've been waiting for so long. I did not want to get the iPhone 10 originally when it first came out, but once they worked out all the bugs and all the problems that were with it, I'm expecting that this one is going to exceed my expectations. Without further ado, let's open the box. This is a beautiful box, look at it, it's got a gold logo, gold apple right here, this is amazing, I love that. So here we go, Woo! here we go. And this is the pamphlet that comes on top. It gives us, you know, just the little key to change the SIM card. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the side. Here is my new phone. Okay, and let's see. It comes with the headphones. I took the liberty to use those when I opened it up yesterday. And it comes also with the charger. Um, and also with a cable for charging. So all these three are pretty much standard for all the um, phones. And now um, we're gonna compare it to, um, to the 6S Plus. Look at it, it's gold. In the back, as you can see, it's got the dual camera. It's kind of a little bit of a rose gold. And right here we have the dark gold. Um, I was expecting a white screen, unfortunately it had the black screen, so it's okay, it's not a big problem, but it looks beautiful. The combination is sleek, it's gorgeous, it's really nice, I just want to hold it in my hand, but I do not want to have any fingerprints on it, so that's why I'm wearing the white gloves today and giving you the white glove treatment to present to you this new phone, and this is my iPhone. Uh, 6s plus that I had I pretty much had this for about three to four years Did not feel the need to upgrade or change because it still looks pretty new. I take care of it However, this one is a single camera and it was only a 16 gigabyte. So I felt the need to upgrade um, you know with my videos and data and um, also with um, trying to um, edit the videos on the go so this would be much much more re uh, reliable uh, I took the liberty of getting the 512 gigabytes so that way I am ready all the time on the go and as um, you can see these two phones are exactly the same size literally exactly the same size look at that if you put them together one on top of the other it gives you the exact same phone however <clears throat> When you do turn the phone on, and you can see the difference. This one has the white edges. This one goes all the way to the edge. And this one has a home button, and this one does not have a home button. As you can see, you can actually wake it up with the home button, or you can just tilt it and it wakes up, which is amazing. So you really do not have to um, do anything with that. And the other cool feature is that if you press on the screen, on the picture, it moves as you see, as you saw that earlier, it was moving. Well, it's not recognizing my touch, but it's okay. 
So right now, I am very excited. I uh, took the liberty to set it up. And just to give you the heads up, when I was trying to set it up, it was so much easier. Um, I thought it was gonna be uh, something very complicated. It was not. You just keep the phones on next to each other without even putting the SIM card, as long as you have Wi-Fi. And um, you set up, you follow the steps, one step at a time. And you can set up the Face ID. It was exciting. It was the first time I've used it. Let's see if it works right now. Nope, it does not want to work right now, unfortunately. So let me see. Let me take my my gloves off and see if it will recognize my, my face. Oh, I know exactly why. It's because I turned it off and I turned it back on. And so it was not recognizing my face. So anyways, you wake it up. You just... Um, uh, Tilt it a little bit slightly. You put, I put it in front of my face. Does not want to work. And then you just swipe up, and then it brings you all the apps that are required uh, that you have. And it pretty much, once I did it, it transferred all my apps over. Try and mirrored my screen. It was perfect. I really, really liked it. And I chose the key. Uh, chain uh, to add it to my new phone. I did not have that in the previous phone because I was not sure how the passwords were protected by Apple. However, when I did that with this one, it made things so much easier to transfer and I did not need to track passwords for every single email, for every single app. Few of the apps still need a password and once you open them, it will require you to put in the password just because if they're a bank app or something that's really important that do not want to linger in there, they will require you to re-put the passwords. Other than that, it did not require me to put another password uh, for my emails, which was seamless, easy, wonderful, and I am very happy to report that. The next thing that I want to talk about is that this has a wonderful, an amazing, wonderful camera, which is much, much, much better than the um, the camera that comes with the 6S Plus, and it's much upgraded, and once you go into portraits, you can play with it. It gives you clear, you know, picture, as you can see. Um, there's so much more that you can do with this phone, but for right now, this is all we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish this review by telling you, if you are in the market for a new iPhone, please go ahead and order the new iPhone 10 S Max because it is definitely worth it. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's, it's like a piece of jewelry, it's very easy to handle, and you are gonna absolutely love it and enjoy to use it many, many, many uh, months to go until at least they come up with a new one. <laughs> but for right now, I am very excited about this one and I can't wait to start using it full time Without further ado, I am gonna tell you goodbye and hopefully I will get my case for my new phone because I'm being very careful with this baby. And please, if you do like this uh, video, comment below if uh, and like it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and share and subscribe and register to the bell so that way you can get all my notifications as soon as I put in a new um, a new video. I am trying, uh, my next video will be about the um, the cases for the iPhone 10 S Max, which would be a flip case and a clear case and more. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.